Hello again. This is the Water Man. Um, it's still Spiritual Toolbox number two hundred fifteen, but I'm going to take a little short, a little detour, and address address a few things. Okay, concerning uh, the word translated as the devil. Okay, or Satan. Okay. Now. <clears throat> It's not completely exhaustive, but it's pretty thorough. Okay, and we're going to dig in here. We're going to dissect it, okay? Now, I, I'm going to title this. I'll come back to the John chapter 3 and go on that. But I might have to do a, a few recordings on this, okay? All right. Now, I'm going to title this The Watering Man. Spiritual Toolbox, number 215, The Devil, recording number one, examination table, number 194, whoa, excuse me. <laughs> now, the word devil comes from the Koine Greek word uh, diabolos, number 1,228. 1228, okay? And the first place in the New Testament that it occurs is in Matthew chapter 4, verse 11. So we're going to, or verse 1, I'm sorry. <clears throat> now, I'm going to start out reading it from that verse, okay? And then I'll tell you how many times it's in in the New Testament, and but I mean, it, it, I've got about three pages of notes or better. So I'm just trying to give you uh, at least some aim, some some little bit more in depth study, but it's not completely. Uh, I didn't do all of it for you. Okay, you have to go do that with yourself. Okay, and it needs to resonate inside of you. Okay, now. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 says, Then Jesus, well, uh, then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Ooh. Okay. Now. Now, let's see here. On devil. That's. Translated from the word 1,228, which I already told you. And it's uh, spelled D-I-A-B-O-L-O-S. And it's this word right here. <laughs> well, come on. There Strong's G-1228. Diabolos. 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 Okay. Now. This word 1228 <clears throat> is an adjective, not a noun, not a pronoun. It's an adjective. What is an adjective? Let me get down there. I got to define out here. An adjective describes nouns and pronouns. It describes a noun or a pronoun, right? All right. Now, that word comes from diabolos. Diabolos, I think, <laughs> uh, comes from twelve twenty-five. We'll get there later. Okay. Now, on the online biblical usage, it says, "Prone to slander." This is your own carnal mind, your own stinking thinking. Okay. Not some monster out here that's supposed to be uh, equal to God and all that, or close to. There's nothing even remotely close to the omnipotence, omniscient, omnip uh, omnipresent um, of the supreme divinity of God, Father God. Nothing's even close. Okay. That's your own stinking thinking trying to take the place of God. To be carnally minded is death. 
The carnal mind is enmity directly opposed to God. It's the adversary it's of you trying to trick you. This is that one. Now, look at this. It's prone to slander. Slanderous. It accuses falsely. It's a... Uh, I'm not real sure how to say that. Col Columniator. <laughs> Whatever. It's, uh, I'll define it out down here. It says, A person who slanders or makes personal, ta ter personal attacks on others. And inside your carnal mind, your non-spiritual mind, your old righteousness, if you don't submit to that old alpha dog inside you, it's going to beat you up. It's going to falsely accuse you. It's going to slander you. It's going to be malicious. It's going to be all this stuff. And I'm going to break down there. Okay? Not some monster out there gets out there so he can shank you. Right in the back with the homemade knives. And they say, oh, I didn't do it. Must have been somebody else. Somebody else farted in that air hose. Going to you. What me? I'm your buddy. Uh, <laughs> it's a lie and the truth's not in it. Make God, acknowledge God is the, is the greatest one. Not that old lying alpha dog. Not this... Diabolos. And that's a descriptive thing of a noun, okay? Of that old carnal thing in it. That you were subjected to uh, in vanity. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, you were subjected to uh, this vanity in hope. Okay? It's in Romans 8. Okay? Got a little tongue tied there. But uh, you, you're getting, uh, you're subjected to this stuff in hope that you come from this, that when you get in these eyes of the storm, you see, think you're reasonable. Turn from that old stuff, recognize it, and come back to God. Be reasonable, my child, and sit my way again and again and again, little by little by little, okay? Now, let's continue down through here. At that columniator thing. It says false accuser or slanderer. Okay? <coughs> <coughs> now, that was just online biblical usage. We'll get the rest of them here in a minute. In a, just a little bit, okay? Now, that word devil, that diabolos, is, trans, is in there. It's, it's translated as devil. 35 times in the New Testament is translated as accuser twice, two times, and it's translated as slanderer, slanderer, once. That's the number 1228, and it's an adjective. Okay? It's not a monster out here, big... Uh-uh. Okay? Now... And remember, an adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. It's not the pronoun or a noun. It's not a monster out there. Go to get you. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, go on down in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. 1228, Diabolus means a transducer, a traducer, T-R-A-D-U-C-E-R. -E okay, I define that out. Get down here, okay. One who maligns another by making malicious and false or defaming statements. Doesn't your own carnal mind do that? Man, I'm just not real good. I all messed up again. <laughs> oh, so. All the time. Or it tells you stuff that's just tries to be your buddy, your pal, and it's giving you an impost it's an imposter of light. It's trying to tell you, I mean you just did the right here, man. It's trying to mislead you. It's not true. What's God say? Make God true. Acknowledge God's the truth. 
He's your exceeding great reward. God is the greatest. And all this man thinking, all this humanistic thinking, this diabolos thinking, this false accusing sucker in here, this accuser, your adversary, I'll get there to that in a little bit. That's basically a little preview of that Satan speaking of. That's a lot of that's out of the Old Testament. Okay? In short, your old stinking thinking. It's filthy stinking rags. The Apostle Paul counts it all as dung for winning Christ. Don't believe that sucker. Stinky snake. Mm -mm. Barking alpha dog. He haul donkey. All that stuff. It's a bunch of baloney. Bunch of bullshit. It's worthless and detestable. To getting anything but a red light is all it'll get you. Red lighting God. Disagreeing with God. And in no way, shape, or form. It's nothing. It's good and bad. It's all ugly. It's not getting you to green light God in hot pursuit. And give up all that. Your old righteous thinking. It wants to get mislead you. Any way possible, it wants to manipulate you. It wants to stay like it thinks it's at Gog and Magog, sitting on the throne of your heart, of your mind, in place of God. Get out of here, you old dog. Shut up, right? Okay. Now, I don't go dealing with that right now because I got a lot here, okay, to deal with, okay? Now, uh, just a minute. Okay, I got a note here. One's own carnal mind, that's your non-spiritual mind, is enmity or directly opposed, not with or against God. Remember in Romans, I think it's 8, 7, 8 verse 7, says in the King James language against that word's ice. Against you going to and into ice. That's into God. Into the righteousness of God. It's opposed to you going into the righteousness of God. It'll lie, malign you, seduce you, traduce you, all this stuff. When I say slander you, uh, falsely accuse you, all this bull crap. He'll beat you up. He'll tell you lies and tell you you're 10 foot tall and bulletproof. It's it's a liar. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> yeah, I even got right there Romans 8, 7. Okay. I think that's the right verse. It's in Romans 8. Okay. That whole thing you're speaking of in there, speaking of that, oh, there's a big section there speaking of that car mine's just yuck. Okay. Now, one's own uh, righteousness tries to convince a person that God is a tyrant, a mad scientist that messed up, is going to torment everybody and all this stuff, throw them into hell. And all that. I then went to and defined all the four words for hell. It's not this torment stuff. That that carnal mind tries to convince you, tries to make God. It's, it's directly opposed to God. It tries to maligning, to be malicious intent, try to slander God. God is the greatest hero. God is loves you beyond words. And it's trying to say, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess he loves you, but he's going to torment you for it. Yeah. That's your own stinking thinking. That you were subjected to, not willingly, but in hope. There. Come out right that time. <laughs> okay. Now. Now. Um, it's doing that. Instead of proclaiming that God is your exceeding great reward. Like he, like God, the self-existing one. Told Abram. Who hadn't yet went through a name change to Abraham. It was Abram. In Genesis chapter 15 verse 1. I am your exceeding great reward. Hmm. All right. God's the same yesterday, today, forever. He doesn't change. God didn't mess up. 
He's omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. He's sovereign. Nothing even remotely close to the supreme divinity. Don't give that devil, that false accuser, your old carnal mind. The right to be, to remain in there, the king. If you're sick of thinking. There's two in your earthly thinking. One's got to go. Guess which one's going? Hit the road, you dirt thinking sucker. Yeah. You got to go. Right. That old carnal wine kick its butt to the curb. Throw it in the trash. Remember? Uh, chop it out. Skim it out. Well. God's giving you the choice. In this, in that, in that, uh, tornado, hurricane. All right. All right. Now, right in the eye of that. All right. Throw it out. Agree with God by turning and giving in hot pursuit with God. Okay. Right back into God. Okay. Now, in the Thayers. Greek lexicon. Another big book. <clears throat> Number 1228. Again. How many times was that in there? It was, uh, shoot. Well, I got it listed on down there. I'll, I'll get to it here in a minute. In a, in a few minutes, okay? Um, in the Thayer's Greek lexicon, it says it's prone to slander. Remember this adjective, right? It's a slanderous. It's slander, sucker. It's describing this thing. It's your carnal mind, which is filthy, stinking rats. Ooh, yuck. Right? So Prophet Isaiah said, ooh, ooh yuck. Right? Your carnal mind, your righteousness is as filthy, stinking rags. Right? Ooh, yuck. Right? Now, it accuses, it's accusing falsely. You're no good, you're no good, you're no good. Right? It's a false accuser, it's a slanderer, okay? Along the same lines as some of the, the other, okay? Now, I then did the culminator. That's that uh, a person who slanders or makes personal attacks for one others. Your own carnal mind's doing it to yourself. Hmm. Your your own your enemy is within. Huh? The kingdom of God doesn't come with from without. And neither is that the enemy out there. It's trying to get you. There's two in your earth, in your field, in your earthly thinking, your mind. All right? God made form that clay body. He breathed his ruach, his spirit into it and two became a living soul right so that yucky thinking that his thought process is the word of god is sharper than any two-edged sword and it's dividing asunder that spirit and the soul that yuck thinking the old righteousness and god's righteousness now choose right it's not a bad process when god's put you in that like centrifuge Oh, that's good. It's passionate. Whoa. They mistranslate it. That thing No. It's just an intense passion trying to get his right mindedness and your right mindedness. Now choose. And you gotta turn from that old stuff, that red stuff, Adamic nature, and go back into God full bore. And he'll give you increase a little bit by little bit by little bit. Oh, yeah, come out of that hog pen, come back to the Father's house, right? Pretty close to the same thing. He'll kill that fatted calf, give you a great meal, increase your strength. Okay? Now, <clears throat> now let's, that pretty much covered a uh, diabolos. Now, the word that, that, the etymology of that is from... The root word of that is 1225, okay? And let me get this to pronounce it right here. Let me get it up there. 
Oh, come on now, don't jump off the internet. There we go. Well, maybe. I think it might have. It did. Hang on. I'll sign in and then I'll continue if it doesn't want to do it. I got the note. Okay, now, uh, I'm going to try to pronounce it. It looks like Diabalo, uh, D-I-A-B-A-L-L-O, <laughs> okay? Now, the other one was a verb, or I mean a, an adjective. This is the verb form of, the, of it, okay? And it its etymology is from tw uh, 1223 and 906, okay? Now, in the Thayer's Greek lexicon, it means to traduce, traduce, culminate, slander, or accuse, or defame. Okay. Um, now, 12.25 occurs one time in one verse. Using the, the T-R-E, uh, T-R Greek concordance of the Bible in the New Testament, okay? Alright. Now, Diabolo, uh, Diabolo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> Let me see here, if I can get it back up there, maybe I'll get this to pronounce it for you. It'd probably pronounce it a lot better than I can. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Come on, where's it at? Oh, let's skip to the next verse. Sorry. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, there we go. Now, 1228 comes from 1225. That's this word. Strong's G, 1225. Diabolo. 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 Wasn't real sure how it was pronounced. That's what it was. <laughs> that's the verb, okay? And now that one comes, that's the verb form. That, and that, that comes, the etymology of that is 1223 and 906, okay? Now this, um, okay, okay, now, Number, let me see here. I gotta see how I did this on the notes. Okay, that one time and one verse that that occurs in, in the TR Greek concordance is in Luke chapter 16, verse 1. And, and it translates it in the King James language as accused. It's a verb, right? All right. Now, I can't, let me see here. I can go down there. It's right down here. Yeah, I'll read it for you. Just how the King James Version. Luke 16, 1, And he said unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man which had a steward, and the same said, the same was accused. That's number 1225. Okay. Diabolo. And to him that had wasted his goods. Okay. It's accused. Okay. All right. Now, uh, in the LXX Greek uh, concordance, it's two times and two verses. Now, this is in the using what it's equivalent to in the Old Testament, okay? And these words uh, for this diabolo uh, was in, is in um, Daniel chapter 3, verse 8, and it's translated as accused, and Daniel chapter 6, verse 24, and it's accused. It's a verb, this is like when Daniel was going to the lion's den, right? Okay. Now, um, 
in the MGNT. I can read those verses for you if you want me to. Would you like me to read those one, two verses, baby? Okay. Let me flip over to another this other recorder. Okay, I'm just going to read them in the, the thing. In the thing, you'll have to do the other work, okay? There's a lot more there, okay? Wherefore, at this time, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. That that that's the number. That's the Hebrew word that they got as diabolo in the New Testament. And it's, uh, hang on, I wrote it down here. Yeah, it's just, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, I think 7170. It's like Q up, upside down, backwards E, upside down and backwards E or RAS. I don't have it up here right now. I'd have to get come to my list and go to it and have it pronounced it. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Now, and in verse 24 is the second time. Same thing in, in, in Daniel chapter 6, verse 24. And the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel. Accused. That's that word. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it right now. Q, upside down, backwards, E, <laughs> R-A-S. Okay? And it, uh, that one comes from the masculine noun. It's 71. It's 71, 71 in etymology in the sense of, of to chew them up. To bite them up. Chew them. You know, rah, rah, grouch at them. Maliciously slander them. It's like going to the lion's den, the lions in the natural, which to chew up the people they were trained to eat them. Well, these Jews and stuff here was uh, are these ones uh, maliciously accusing Daniel and stuff. Well, it was like chewing them up, slanderous, malicious intent. They were like the lions. And then speaking inside, your the old natural thing is like a lion chew you up, not the lion of Judah, not not God. This is out of your old carnal mind, trying to chew you up if you don't agree with it. Ooh, yuck. Smack that dog down, be still. Put a muzzle on the old dog, right? The old lion, the old wrong lion, you're not the king. You're the king of that old carnal stuff. You're not the king of, of the new. Come back into the mind of God. Put you on the mind of Christ. Right? Come back into the righteousness of God. Don't. Remember that dichotomy? You're falling out or falling in. Don't fall. Don't, don't stay in this crap. That old thing will chew you up. Right? Now, <clears throat> I got a lot of broke down here. Uh, I'm trying to get it out to you, okay? Alright. A lot of them that translate that the word is accused. The equivalent Hebrew word for diabolo. It's only in there like one time. Right? One time, one verse. In the New Testament. Alright? Luke 16, chapter 16, verse 1. Huh? That's accused. Even in the King James Version. Not the devils also. No. It's, it's, it's accused. Okay. Now. Back up here. Uh, okay. We got to go down here. Let's get this. That's Diabolos from 1223 and uh, 906. Okay. Let's go to 1223 real quick. That's Dia. That means through, okay? The root from this diabolo, this accused, is through, okay? And it's the idea, and it's uh, denoting the channel of an act, or to go through it. Okay, you're not going through the eye of the needle. You're staying in this broadway as the way of destruction, 
That's Connolly. Huh? You try to go the other way, it chews up. Okay? Now, let me try to get this in here a little bit. I don't know how much I can get. I'm about to run out of time. And then 906. That's that Balo. Dia, Dia, Dia. All right, Dia Balo. And it's Balo. This word right here. Strong's G906. Okay. Balo. It's a verb. Balo. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a verb. It's a primary root, primary word, okay? And it's uh, to throw or let go of a thing without caring where it falls. Disregard it. It's insignificant, right? Which way are you going? You saying that old carnal mind's way is insignificant? Throw that stuff away in the trash? Green light and God? Or are you saying God's way is insignificant? God's right is just insignificant? And go with the old carnal mind. Again, the red light or green light. Okay? And in this instance, when it's applying to this carnal mind, the diabolos, diabolos, or what a diabolos, it's your old sinking righteousness. Ooh, yuck. That's proud as a way to destruction, and there'll be many that go that way. But there won't be many that goes that narrow or narrow wing path. Right? I will have to put a line here. I didn't quite get through it. Um, that was uh, Spiritual Toolbox 215, The Devil Number 1.